to look into the insight of an African-American student's mindset as to why they chose a PWI over a HBCU. And we wanted to ask them questions about the differences between a PWI experience in regards to a HBCU experience. Hi, we have Brandon Lewis with us. He is a North Carolina a and student. And we'd like to ask him some questions. Okay, Brandon, do you feel like your HBCU defines you? I don't feel like my HBCU defines me, but I do feel like uh, my choice in attending HBCU defines, well, is a reflection of who I am. Why have you chose to go to an HBCU over a PWI? I chose an HBCU um, for a simple fact that I grew up in a pretty prejudiced area. Um, so I've, I've seen adversity firsthand. Um, um, I face conflict um, as far as sports, um, academics, everything. Um, I've seen unfair treatment and I was just tired of it. I just want to go to an environment where I could thrive and prosper as an African American and not be judged by um, like instructors and things of that aspect. All right, we have Mackenzie Myers here with us today. She is a North Carolina a and student. What do you think it means to go to HBCU? Um, I kind of think like when I think about like, like why I chose to go and kind of like what it means to go, kind of like just to show that like you know there are like black people out here who are very smart and intelligent and we can compete with basically like everyone. What do you think it means in regards to what you're saying for a person who decided to attend a PWI? Why do you think they made that choice? Okay, maybe because PWIs like they do just have. Um, more like connections and they have more money. HB, HBCUs, they don't have like as much money as PWIs and I don't think they have as many connections. So like I know even for like my friends, I'm the only one out of my group of friends who chose to go to an HBCU from like HBCUs from back home. Um, like I know they have a little bit more like um, opportunities, I feel like in my opinion, and some of the things that they have are just like a little bit different. Um, I feel like it just kind of depended on basically like what type of college they wanted to have. Well, that's it. Thank you for coming out. Hi, my name is Tatiana, and I'm interviewing Anola, and she goes to UNCG. So I wanted to know what inspired you to go to a PWI or HBCU? Well, to be honest, my dad pretty much told me that he was not going to allow me to go to he was not going to help me pay for it in any type of way. He went to Air, uh, Army Academy, which is West Point, and all of his classmates were pretty much all white. And so he is that stereotypical Oreo. So he wanted me to have the white education, the best education in his mind. In my mind, I said, well, I want to go wherever I'm happy. I came to this campus, I went to a and I went to a few other HBCUs and another other PWIs, and I just fell in love with UNCG's campus. I didn't really see the HBCU. I didn't really see the PWI. I saw an education where I was going to strive the most to see if there was a medium school, a small school, mm -hmm. something like that, where I thought I would have been with a small campus. Also, at this PWI, do you feel like you have a voice as an African-American student? As an African-American student, I do, because there's so many like, clubs or societies, you know, black societies that I'm part of. And it empowers black people, especially black artists, to become a bit better than you. Like we just had a talent show with Neo Black Society that helps African American students be a better them and not feel like, oh no, I'm in the background, especially now that Trump is now in office, you know, we have to have a voice of our own. Well, thank you so much. It was nice talking to you. Thank you. Thank you. Nice to meet you too. Hi, my name is Tatiana Pringle, and I'm with. My name is Gabby, and she goes to UNCG. So basically, I wanted to know why PWI instead of HBCU. Now that's a funny story because 
I originally was going to go to Winston Salem State, but I don't know because I have went to um, a, a black high school. Okay. And when I toured UNCG, I was just like, wow, like I love the atmosphere. And like I didn't even have no second thoughts. So I was like, yeah, I'm coming here. But it was kind of like I knew that was supposed to be. Is here. it is it because of how campus looked or I mean that had a lot to do with it. I and mean, then it was just like at SOAR, that was like um the summer where you got to pick your classes and get to know the campus and whatever. And it was just the atmosphere was just so amazing. Like the the students there sophomores and juniors that were here that summer, they just made me feel so welcome. Like, I was supposed to be here. Do you feel like at the HBC you would have felt welcome? No, it's not that. It's just, you know how you know something's supposed to happen? Yeah. And you just felt like it was fake coming. That's, that's well, it was nice talking to you, Gabby. Thank you. <laughs> That's all we have for you guys. That was us showing the difference between a PWR versus the HBCU.